Hi everyone. Welcome to the second lecture on machine learning from eGate.ai. Today, we will be looking into the taxonomy of various learning paradigms in machine learning. Let's do a quick recap from the previous lecture. An ML system may either be supervised or unsupervised. Further, supervised systems may be categorized into classification and regression. Let us recall that supervised systems require labeled data. Moreover, we are talking about a function which maps input to a target variable. So here the target variable y can be expressed as a function f of x. On the other hand, unsupervised systems do not require label data as they extract similarity patterns or structures from unlabeled data. And it can further be categorized into clustering and dimensional integration. Now, let's look into the domain of movies, or more specifically, the box office performance of movies, and see how we can formulate various ML problems as different tasks. So in this slide, you may see the box office performance of some of the movies released this year. These include movies from Hollywood, Bollywood, as well as Hollywood. Now, how do we predict the potential box office performance for the upcoming movies based on that of the movies released in the past? So I would suggest something like linear regression to estimate the collection of upcoming movies but with a caveat based on history of past movies. So now, let's look at this problem as an ML practitioner. Here, the input is the movies and our target variable or the output Y is the potential box office collection box of this collection. Here, box of this collection is typically a currency value and in principle, it can be any value from zero to infinity. So, we can say that, uh, apologies for the notation, so here we can say that y 
belongs to R plus. The target variable can be any amount from an infinite set. And when the target variable that we are trying to predict is continuous, we call the learning problem as a regression problem. And hence, I suggested using linear regression as the task. Now, let us consider a slightly different scenario. Here, again the input is nothing but the movie. But in the case of output, instead of predicting exact values of the collection, what if we just need to predict what was the return on the budget spent for each of the movies. While this definition may sound a bit technical, basically we are just looking for whether a movie was a hit, a flop, or maybe has it done phenomenally well, and if so, whether it was a blockbuster. So in ML terms, my target variable, which is Y, is nothing but one of three values which are hit, flop, or the blockbuster. Now when the target variable can take on only a small number of discrete values, we call such task formulations as a classification task. we have discrete values for y. So in ML terms, our task is to predict uh, whether the upcoming movie belongs to one of the three classes or labels we have defined, hit, flop, or blockbuster. Now if you see both regression and classification are supervised learning approaches where a few samples needs to be labeled and provided as examples. But in the unsupervised learning we don't need label data. And now let's try which is something completely different. Let's emphasize that unsupervised means unlabeled data or in other words to make it more obvious no annotation of data is required. Clustering is an unsupervised learning paradigm. In this case, we simply have the inputs. There are no labels. So in our case, all we have are the input movies, but we don't have to put any effort or to spend any expense for labeling this information on the movies. But we still can group the similar movies together. In that process, we also aggregate the movies, pardon, we also segregate similar movies together, but we additionally separate dissimilar movies into dis different groups as well. And we call this process as clustering. So now let's look at the clusters formed here. What does these clusters convey? 
Based on the grouping, we can see that the movies in the same cluster tend to have similar box office performance. Similar box office performance. But an important thing to notice here is that while we may get similarly grouped films, looking at the clusters alone cannot tell you explicitly which movie or a cluster was a hit, flop or blockbuster. So if we have to know which of these were hits, flops or blockbusters, we have to look that information externally. So, did we skip something? Ah yes, dimensionality reduction. So, for that you will have to wait for a couple of more lectures. So, dimensionality reduction is something that we will take up in a later lecture. However, in the next lecture, we will look into some of the possible problems and try to identify the correct task formulation for them. So here is a sneak view preview of such similar questions. We have a few more, but for the time being, thank you.